Before starting the video, I want to talk a little bit about current flow. Suppose you have a battery of 5 volts and you have connected a load across the terminal of battery. The current flow always depends on the resistance of the load. Using this really simple formula known as Ohm's law, you can calculate current flow in the circuit. Therefore, in this 5 volt battery, if you connect a 5 ohm resistance load, current flow in the circuit will be 5 volts divided by 5 ohms and therefore current flow in the circuit is 1 ampere. Battery capacity is the measurement of how long a battery can supply current at the rated voltage when connected with a load. As an example, suppose I have a 5 volt battery and capacity of the battery is 2 ampere hour. Here in the battery, 5 volt is the voltage across positive and negative terminal. The capacity 2 ampere hour means that the battery can supply 2 amperes for 1 hour and that's it. If I connect a load of resistance 2.5 ohms, then using ohms law we can find current through the load. Current is equal to 5 volts divided by 2.5 ohms which equals 2 amperes of current. Since the battery has a capacity of 2 ampere hour, therefore in this circuit the battery will supply 2 amperes for 1 hour and after 1 hour battery will no longer be able to supply current through the load. Now let us take another example. We have a load of resistance 5 ohms and we are asked to find how long the 5 volt 2 ampere hour battery can supply current. So first of all find current through the load. Apply Ohm's law, current is equal to voltage divided by resistance, which equals 5 volts divided by 5 ohms, and therefore current flow through the load is 1 ampere. Now let me introduce you to another really simple formula, battery capacity in ampere hour is equal to current in amperes multiplied by time in hours or battery capacity in milliampere hours is equal to current in milliamperes multiplied by time in hours. Using this formula, we can find how long the battery can supply current. Therefore, rearrange the equation like this. Time is equal to battery capacity divided by current. We are given battery capacity is equal to 2 ampere hour and current is 1 ampere. Therefore, time is equal to 2 hours. This time, since current is flowing 1 ampere, that's why battery lasts 2 hours. This seems logical. See, when current flows less, battery can supply longer. Therefore, a 2 ampere hour battery can supply 2 amps for 1 hour, 1 amps for 2 hours and 0.5 amps for 4 hours etc. Your smartphone is basically a variable resistance load. Resistance always depends on what thing you are doing with your phone. For example, suppose when you play music resistance becomes 6 ohms but when you play powerful games resistance becomes 0.5 ohms suppose the specification of the battery says that the battery is 3.7 volts and has a capacity of 4000 milliampere hour or 4 ampere hour now using ohms law calculate current when we play music current flows 0.6 amps and when we play games current flows 7.4 amps. As you can see current flows lot more in case of gaming. Now using battery capacity formula calculate time. 
when we play music it gives 6.6 .6 hours approximately and when we play a certain powerful game it gives 0.5 hours backup time and that's why because of sensing resistance at the same time battery backup also senses